welcome to the introductory video for my notebook on Minecraft, uh, Minecraft mods. This video will serve as an introduction to the project as well as offering a bit of background to myself, uh, where I'm coming from for this series uh, as well as why I'm doing it. Uh, in or around August of 2012, I did about six months of live streaming uh, Minecraft, and that was back in Minecraft uh, 125. I ended up basically killing my world with uh, with the mods, and ever since then, I've been doing very large and very technical oriented builds. Uh, unfortunately the wife caught up to me and due to uh, several uh, job changes I ended up moving and during that move I lost my uh, the internet that I could stream off of and I'm now on a significantly slower a significantly slower connection uh, I have done, as mentioned, streaming, but I have not done YouTube videos before. Unfortunately, with the uh, latest YouTube update, uh, connecting with Google+, Plus, that's thrown a rather large wrench in my plans. Uh, so, hopefully this will all work out. This is my fifth or sixth attempt at actually recording this. Uh, any background noise is probably my fan for my computer. I do have quite a few, and when I was live streaming, uh, the fan was a bit of a source of a running joke. I have upgraded my microphone since then, so hopefully everything will work out and the fan won't be too, too loud. Uh, I would say leave a comment below uh, if the fan is too loud, and I can work on adjusting that, but recent changes, I'm not entirely sure if I would actually see said comment. So, on to the project. Uh, what this is not, uh, this is not going to be a Let's Play or a Mod Spotlight. There's dozens, if not hundreds, probably thousands of those uh, already floating around. Uh, this will be a presentation and not a demonstration. Uh, what that means is if you're actually looking for Minecraft gameplay, this is probably going to be uh, not what you're looking for. Uh, as mentioned, I do tend to do very technical builds, and I feel that the best way of doing that is starting off with a very solid understanding of how the mods work, and then building off of that. Uh, this will also, I believe, help people who need a uh, more specific way of building for whatever uh, construction project they're trying to do. So hopefully that will work out. Uh, and finally, and probably most importantly, this is not going to be an entry-level tutorial. So with that in mind, I'm going to assume that we all know how to punch wood. Uh, if not, I could probably recommend easily a dozen people to go watch. But. Uh, with that in mind, let's go ahead and move forward to what this actually is. Uh, this will be, to my best ability, uh, short and detailed. Uh, mod spotlights, mod reviews, they tend to run 20 to 30 minutes per, and some people can manage to stretch a single mod out into three or four episodes. So you end up watching an hour to try to find out about one single block, and it's not really very productive. Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to try to focus on the 5-7 to seven minute range. This intro video will probably go over that. Uh, part of this is out of necessity. I do not have a very strong up, uh, upload speed, so a 15-20 to 20 minute video is probably going to take me an hour to upload. Uh, I do intend to record at 720p. Probably not the smartest idea, but I want people to actually be able to see see any visuals and be able to actually read this. 
I will be doing version and dating information. Uh, one thing that does plague the current, uh, well, what tries to pass as documentation for the current mods is you don't actually know A, when it's been written, what version it's for, or any sort of actual information uh, in regards to that. So outdated documentation isn't documentation, it's historical records. Uh, to the best of my ability, this will be viewer driven. Uh, I do intend to step on a lot of toes and I'm probably going to be talking about some very popular people and probably not the uh, greatest light. So I do intend to step on a couple of toes. I feel that the toes do need to be stepped on. Uh, that's in part to improve everyone. So uh, that's just how it's going to work. Uh, hopefully with the new YouTube system, I will be able to actually see those comments and not have the uh, the marked as spam or outright deleted. Thank you, Google Plus, uh, for that little uh, addition. So I also figured that if one person has a problem, others are probably going to have either the identical problem or something very similar. So uh, anyone who posts comments asking how would you go about doing X, Y, or Z, I'll go ahead and try to answer that, and odds are some someone who doesn't want to say anything, who just wants to work, which is fine, uh, they might have the same problem, so the proverbial two birds with one stone. Uh, what I will be focusing on uh, as far as vanilla, uh, quirks of Minecraft, uh, the chunk boundaries, a lot of people just kind of glaze over that or don't even cover it at all. Uh, for vanilla Minecraft, it's not a big deal. Uh, it does start to play, come into play for debugging uh, modern Minecraft, especially when you start doing very technical builds or things that are very sensitive to timing. Uh, I do have Redstone Race Condition in. Uh, that is an ongoing research project of mine. Uh, it boils down to things not working out how they should be because of chunk boundaries and server issues. Uh, I will be focusing a large amount of effort on analysis. Uh, this is going to be how to build your very large projects uh, smartly as to not kill your server. Uh, I have successfully killed... Well, I'm the one person who is immediately turned to when the server starts lagging. So, uh, also how to optimize builds uh, just things that people may might not have thought about as well as uh, ways to possibly trim trim a little bit here trim a little bit there and suddenly you've taken 15 to 20 percent of your server load off uh, this will be out of order uh, things do change it takes time to update and I might come up with an idea for something uh, before I do go back to update an older video. So, uh, furthermore, I will be calling people on doing stupid shit. Uh, so, names will be named, and hopefully they won't take it too hard, but uh, mod authors do need to be called on this so that they will hopefully improve. Uh, furthermore, I will be pointing out people who don't do stupid shit. Uh, there are several mod authors out there who do an absolutely tremendous job on keeping their documentation accurate, keeping their documentation up to date. Uh, I'll go ahead and actually point out uh, two. Uh, Tinker's Construct has in-game documentation. It's accurate, it's up to date. Uh, it's a little lacking on a couple of points, but I, at that point I've got to... I'm, I'm just picking for uh, for bugs to call out. Uh, also, uh, which one is it? Uh, Thumbcraft has always had very solid documentation available in game, uh, up to date, accurate. Again, one or two very minor issues that I would point out, but again, I'm just nitpicking for those. So, with all this talk of documentation, let's actually cover what it is. Uh, 
a bit of a joke. Documentation? What's that? Uh, unfortunately for Minecraft, that is a legitimate question. Uh, the Minecraft community has, oh, I don't even want to say it has abysmal documentation. It's that bad. So, uh, for those of us who play with mods, well, mods add things. And very few of them will actually tell you what, uh, how to use them. Well, I add wires. Okay, how to use the wires. What sort of statistics are in the wires. Uh, most mod spotlights and tutorials are very vague as far as exact numbers. Uh, understandable if you try to cover one of the larger tech mods in 15 to 20 minutes. Not so great if you actually need to come up with a uh, build that isn't going to experience a catastrophic failure event. Uh, what records there are uh, tend to either be deleted, omitting, omitted, or missing. Uh, sometimes, unfortunately, this is done intentionally. I see two. Uh, with the uh, actual official releases, has done this with uh, the UU Matter mechanic. Uh, ironically, the worst place to look for any uh, information on the UU Matter mechanic was the IC2 wiki. Look anywhere else, and it's readily available. Uh, I will be pointing out that the source code is not an acceptable form of documentation. Mod devs, if your stuff is open sourced, people can go through. If it's not open sourced, which is an entirely different can of worms, you need to keep your documentation up to date. It needs to be accurate. People need to be able to use your mod, otherwise, why are they going to bother installing it? So, um, with that in mind, uh, a couple of things you will probably get a lot of mileage for uh, in this series. Uh, you're going to need NEI or Craft Guide. Uh, a lot of people like to spend a lot of time showing off here's how to craft the recipes. Not going to be something I cover. Uh, for the past three or four maps I've played with Greg Tech, uh, which is somewhat notorious for changing the very basic recipes into something that costs a tremendous amount of resources. Uh, I believe Thermal Expansion also changes recipes and uh, kind of the common uh, trend these days is to change recipes to either balance more towards your mod or to allow for better integration with, you, uh, with your mod. So uh, whatever recipes I would show probably not going to be up to date, probably not going to be what you're using. NEI or Craft Guide it shows you exactly what you need to use for uh, your circumstances. Uh, you're also going to need working mods. Uh, I'm going to assume that you have already installed and have everything working uh, in a playable fashion. Uh, optionally, a mini-map uh, or some sort of a tape measure. Uh, it's pretty easy just to plop down some waypoints on your map and say, okay, here's how far my, my wires have run. Uh, a basic knowledge of programming. Uh, it really doesn't matter what sort of programming language you know. Uh, Lua would be fine, C++, Java, I can go on and on. Uh, but some, some experience working with that will help a lot when it comes to understanding how I'm optimizing the builds and how I'm uh, going about the debugging process. Uh, so as far as the tech mods that I'm going to be working with, uh, primarily it's Industrial Craft 2. Uh, there are several add-ons to the IC2 itself. Uh, I would cover Universal Electricity, however, when I say documentation that's missing, omitted, or deleted, uh, Universal Electricity has no documentation whatsoever to be omitted or deleted, so I'm probably going to be staying away from that one uh, until I can actually find some documentation to review. Uh, support mods. Buildcraft, Railcraft, Forestry, uh, Minecraft re Reloaded, uh, they all add some sort of automatic farming or automatic uh, collection. Uh, I have yet to see anyone who uh, who does who only plays with these mods, so uh, not really your primary type of mods, but useful nonetheless. Uh, 
for the inevitable question regarding magic mods, uh, Thumbcraft 4 or Equivalent Exchange, I don't know what version they're currently on. Uh, I really don't use them. They have some nice uh, fancy tools, but uh, aside from that, they don't really add too many gameplay mechanics, and the tools don't tend to scale very well. Uh, I will be referring to the Thumbcraft 4 Golems and covering why exactly they don't uh, scale well in a later video. So with that, uh, that will conclude this introductory video. Uh, next time I will be covering some very basic uh, concepts and going from there. So hopefully you found this useful or informative, and until next time, think big.